Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about swim bait, specifically swim bait profiles. This is a question I get asked all of the time. As we know, swim baits are some of the best fish catching tools that we have, but because they've gained so much popularity, there are a lot of different types of swim baits. So I get questions all of the time asking about when I would throw this type of swim bait versus another type of swim bait. So what we're going to do today is break down boot tail swim baits, the traditional swim baits, and what type I like to use in certain situations when I would throw one versus the other. So it's going to be a little bit of an in-depth video, but it's really geared at just trying to give you some advice or direction as to when I like to throw these types of swim baits in certain situations. So it doesn't mean that you can't be using one in another because in most cases, a boot-tailed swim bait is a boot-tailed swim bait, meaning you're going to get a good lifelike motion out of it. But I do specifically think there are times one will outfish another in some situations. So let's just get into this. The first one, we're just going to talk about the probably the most popular swim bait overall. This is the Kitek Swing uh, Impact Fat. This is the 3.8 size, very traditional size. It's what I like to refer to as a ribbed swim bait. Uh, there are a lot of these out on the market now. Most companies have a version of this based off of the popularity of this Kitek one. A really good swim bait to use in most situations. They have very wide uh, wobbling tail kick, which is one of the things that makes them good in both clear and dirty water. Uh, they generally are probably the most popular overall. And in my opinion, this is the the best style swim bait to go for all conditions. Like if you had to carry one swim bait, I would carry a ribbed swim bait style bait. Work great on a jig head, work great on an uh, on a uh, belly weighted hook. You can fish them in most traditional manners. So you can you can get these from you know all the way from 2.8 sizes all the way up to uh, I don't know eight inch style baits right now. So that's the first style. The next that we're going to talk about is again a similar one. This is the Berkeley Grass Pig. This is what I like to consider my grass swim baits. Most companies make one of the one of these as well. So Berkeley's got the Grass Pig, Reaction Innovations has the Skinny Dipper. Uh, there's just you know the Cane Thumper is out there by Big Bites. Most companies make a more rigid plastic boot tail swimmer. The idea behind these is they work excellent as trailers for baits. So maybe you want to throw them on a swim jig. Maybe you want to throw them on a chatter bait, a spinner bait. So they're they're tougher material. They hold up much better in, uh, I'll say, more adverse conditions. So not only do they work great as a trailer, but these work really well just as a Texas rigged swim bait. So what a lot of people do is they'll put a, you know, rig it in a Texas rig fashion, and then they'll cast it over grass flats, over shallow stump flats. Uh, it's just a tougher material, so it holds up much better when you're ripping it through hydrilla and milfoil and different types of grass flats. So this is a, a really good one to have. It still has good thumping motion from the tail. Because the plastic's more rigid, it doesn't have as much wide wobbling tail kick as the rib swim baits do, but it's got more side rolling motion. And that's part of what makes it a really good uh, trailer. It helps impart action into, say, your swim jig. But at the same time, it's that rolling motion that allows it to come through grass better than the big sidekick, which can sometimes catch some of the grass particles. But really, for me, the biggest difference with this, not only that motion, it's the durability of these baits versus the ribbed swim bait styles, which are a much so uh, softer plastic. Then we're going to jump over to our hollow bellies. This is a, uh, so it's a hollow belly bait. So it actually has like a cavity in the middle of it. This is a Bastrix seven incher, if I can get a good hold of it. Uh, an absolute phenomenal bait for fishing it by itself. Now, one of the cool things with a hollow belly is you can rig this again in a lot of different manners. Uh, they are somewhat soft in terms of material, so they don't hold up extremely well after a ton of fish catches, similar to say your rib swim baits. But you can fish this with a big uh, belly weighted swim bait hook. You can fish it on a big swim bait head and you can fish it with internally weighted uh, hooks. So it is a very good bait in terms of versatility. 
For me, the hollow bellies really shine as a standalone bait. They have a very good profile that mimics uh, the natural forage that are in most lakes. And because of them, I, I because of that, I actually prefer to fish them in two manners. One, on the underbelly weighted hook where I can just go along and I'm fishing uh, around good isolated pieces of cover, whether that's a big lay down tree or a boulder, or I like to fish it deep on ledges because it does have good tail kick, it does have good side roll, and from that standpoint, it's a very good bait for fishing, say, Tennessee River ledges. I think that's one of the places it became uh, extremely popular. We saw a lot of people fishing them deeper, and it just works very well on a big jig head, and it works very well on a heavy jig head. That's one thing that a lot of swim baits lose a lot of their movement when you start going up into say your three quarter ounce sizes, but a hollow belly swim bait still does a very good job at maintaining its motion when you put it on a big heavy jig head. Next up, we're gonna jump back to what I like to consider some of my more finessey swim baits. So this is the Kitek Easy Shiner. This is the four and a half inch size. They make these from like an inch and a half all the way up to, I don't know, six inches or something like that. And you'd look at it and say, yeah, this is again a very, uh, you know, standard boot tail swim bait. Why is this one different? Well, the difference with this has to do with the motion of it. The tail in this case is really of tight wobbly motion. It's extremely natural, uh, much different than say your, your ribbed swim baits that have that big wide tail kick. This has much more of the natural, just straight, you know, just the tail itself is going to kick. So for me, this is one of the uh, key baits to use in your extremely clear water situations. Does not provide nearly as much wobble or thump or side roll. Just a very natural, tight kicking tail that really uh, gives it a much more natural appearance. Because when you see a fish swim, fish don't have their whole tail going like this. Fish just, you know, have their tail just flopping back and forth that generates their movement. So it is a very, very natural swim bait. And it's one that I love to throw under uh, extreme water clarity or when fishing very, very pressured uh, waters where the fish are seeing a lot more of the bigger rib tail swim baits because those are much more popular. But we are starting to see the tight wobbling, more streamlined swim baits become much more popular because of their effectiveness in high pressured conditions. The last one that I'm gonna talk about is more of what I consider my uh, really wide bodied baits. This is a uh, Mission Fish by 316. This is a, a bait that I like to use again as a target, uh, isolated target body, uh, targeted, isolated targets bait. Thank you, that's what I'm trying to say. So for this, I will almost always rig these weedless with an under, uh, with you know a, a big EWG style hook that's generally going to be a belly weighted hook. The key here is they're very natural looking baits. They're much wider in profile. And the key with these is they're supposed to look much more natural in the water. And they hold up really good when flipping around, uh, say docks or those isolated targets. They're, they're meant to you know be skipped up under docks. They're meant to be fished around areas where you think big fish are gonna be. So they're generally bigger baits. Things like the Mega Bass Mag Draft would fall into this category. They're very popular baits that generate big bites, and they can sometimes be the only swim bait that'll generate bites. For some reason, there's something about a more natural profile that uh, swims better. You can see this bait is actually wider than it is tall. So that gives it a really good uh, swimming motion through the water where it's got good belly roll, good side to side motion. But having said that, this is not the bait that I would go out just to catch, say, a limit of fish. You'll generate a lot of good strikes on it, but if you're looking for numbers, some of the other swim baits I've talked about are gonna be the ones that you wanna go for. But there is 100% a time and a place for bigger, more natural looking, wide bodied swim baits in your tackle box, because there are times and places, especially like right now, the pre-spawn period into the spawn, when you've got a lot of those big females up shallow, that's when a bigger swim bait like this uh, 316 definitely will come into play. It's one of the reasons why we see the mag draft being such a popular bait. So I hope this kind of answers your questions. These are all versions of boot-tailed swim baits. And then within these, there's a handful of other ones that are kind of different in their own right. But the reality here is these are kind of the five 
standard boot tail swim bait categories. They've all got a time and a place. They all are excellent fish catching machines. And if you're not throwing swim baits, guys, you really need to get on this because there are a, a ton of people catching piles of fish and not just bass. If you're a walleye angler, if you're a musky angler, a pike angler, even the small swim baits for crappie and bluegill and perch, they're dynamite. Everything eats, eats bait fish, and these are the some of the best baits we have to mimic the natural forage of all of these species. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll put links for all of these up into uh, Tackle Warehouse. So if you want to support the channel, you can make a purchase using the affiliate links. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.